Okay, so here is my uh, progressive receiver designed by Wes Hayward, W7, w, W7ZOI, and K5IRK John Lawson. It was designed back in like, I don't know, mid 80s. And I accumulated parts for years, and here we are, 2025, and I've finally finished it, and it's running very well. Uh, you know, hearing some good, this is on 80 meters foam on uh, like a Friday night. And it's got two VFOs. This one's an analog, the original design, and this one's a digital. I've got it set so it tunes one kilohertz increments. And uh, I had a little trouble with getting the audio to sound good and with some help from Wes Hayward. Uh, we adjusted the AGC timing capacitor. It's currently went, went the original design called for 10 microfarad. This is down to, uh, right now I'm running with a 2.2 microfarad timing capacitor. And uh, it's sounding very good now. Uh, it always sounded better on 80 and 40 than it did on 20. 20, you have a lot of really strong signals. But I'd say about 80% of them now sound really good without too much fiddling. So uh, that's, that's really good. I've got a, um, uh, an SSB filter in right now. And uh, I can switch in also for code a uh, inrad kit for uh, crystal filter which I interfaced in with some relay so I can over here switch it on and off. I can also switch on and off an external preamp uh, and uh, generally what I'm doing is using the uh, uh, this VFO, the analog VFO for code because uh, code is pretty sharp and you have to be careful tuning it in and uh, it's even you know kind of difficult to tune the SSB in with it although I do can use it but this one here going on one kilohertz increments for it makes it very easy to tune so uh, I'm pretty happy with it the S meter is uh, one I got from surplus sales in Nebraska and it meets the specs of a uh, S meter driver that I found on uh, Wes Hayward's uh, website uh, w7zoi.net and uh, that's also working very good uh, especially on the analog VFO the this VFO doesn't on uh, the digital VFO doesn't move the S meter that much but the analog one does especially on code especially with the timing capacitor changed down to 0.2 microfarad so, um, filtration is really good over here with going from SSB to CW. I also have over here, uh, instead of using the original designed uh, audio filters, uh, this is a kit that I got from the New England QRP Club, and it's a, it uses a, uh, a national semiconductor, I think, SCAF chip, S-C-A-F, and uh, it works quite well. And actually, I can even use it on SSB. If you turn it on and turn it up to maximum width, uh, you can still understand the SSB. So that's a really cool feature. And um, so I can actually run this, if, if I'm doing CW, I can run this with the CW filter on. And I can, if it's really crowded band, I can put this on and I can turn the width way down. Let me see if I can uh, quickly tune in some a CW signal over here on 80. Got to turn off the BFO, turn it, not turn it off, but turn it over to CW. And let's see what we can find. That's wrong. That's got to be up there. It's kind of late at night, so there's not as many some CW.
So you can see the action of the you can see the action of the S meter once I get it uh, tuned into the pass band, and I can turn on the CW filter, and the, a lot of the noise goes away. Well, I don't know where he went. Let's see if I find find someone else. It's easier to find them wide and then narrow it. Not too many people on CW late at night on 80. I'll do another video tomorrow showing CW action on uh, 20 meters. And I'll also show, show you the inside of the radio. In fact, I can take the top off. Well, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. I'll do that in another video. So, everything's going good. I got 80, 40, 30, 20, 15, and 10 meters all coming in very well. The BFO is uh, one BFO with a switched crystals, one for lower sideband, one for upper sideband, and then one for CW, and I can adjust it for the pitch, and then this CWZ position over here changes it to, uh, if I've got a CW signal tuned in, zero beat, and it gives me the correct reading on the digital display. Uh, this digital display in the center is from Neil Hecht, who's in SK now. Uh, his company was almost all digital electronics. And uh, uh, this is his DFD2 um, uh, uh, frequency counter. And uh, the s display on the right is for the uh, digital VFO that comes from WA1FFL in Tiverton, Rhode Island. And uh, it doesn't display the actual frequency, but it does display um, where it is in the 500 megahertz, 500 kilohertz tuning range. And also it shows what step size we're currently at when we're using this VFO over here. So that's it. I'll show you some more on, a, on the next video.